I came to talk about my MEP experience again. This is my fourth time going to MEPs, y'all. And it sucked just as much as it did the first day. Let me tell y'all, today I had to go in to do my depth procession test. And that was it. That's all I was supposed to do was my depth procession test. And the lady is like, you got to take a pregnancy test again. You got to go back in there and see the doctor, the one that uh, you go to to do the duck walk and stuff. I had to go see him again. And like I was not planning on being there um, for this long, even though I, I just wanted to get in there and get out. And I had to get in there, wait forever. Then I had to go see um, the lady who does the pregnancy test and stuff. I had to go see her again. And she was like, you got to go next door. And you got to strip down to your panties and your bra. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know I had to do all of that today. She was like, yeah, because it's been longer than 30 days. And I was like, well, you know, my recruiter never told me I was going to have to strip naked again. Well, not naked, but you know what I mean. She was like, yeah, go ahead, get on over there, strip down, see bra and panties, and I'm just like, so about my panty situation, and she was like, what's wrong with your panties? <laughs> and I was like, ooh, what they doing to this road? I was like, um, I don't have on granny panties today, and she was like, Okay, well, let me go talk to the doctor. You may have to go back to your liaison office. And I was just like, so, uh, she was like, what kind of panties do you have on? And I was like, I have on cheekies. And she was like, okay, well, you know, you'll be okay. It's, it was only two of us today. So I was like, okay, cool. So I got that out the way, did that. And then it was like, you got to go get your temperature checked and all of this stuff because you're shipping out today. I'm like, wait, I'm not shipping out today. And she was like, oh, you're not shipping out? No, I just told you right there on my folder, it says depth possession test. Like, I, I don't have to do all of this. And it was making me go through everything that you are supposed to go through when you are getting ready to be shipped out so a lot of stuff that I did do I didn't even have to do so it was a waste of time I was wanting to get back home get back in the bed and go to sleep because I don't have to be at work until 11 is this one both time I don't have to be back into work until 11 and then um yeah i don't have to go to work until 11 so i want to go back home get back in the bed and get some sleep because i had to get up at well i was supposed to get up at four o'clock i didn't get up to five and i'm supposed to be down at meps by six o'clock i did not get to meps i don't even stay that far from meps i stay about what maybe 15 20 minutes from MIPS but I didn't get there until 605 and I left my house around what 630 I left my house at 630 and it's not so it, I should have been there on time but knowing me your girl just procrastinate on everything my little gas light came on yesterday and i was like oh you know i can make it home and then in the morning i'll go get some gas before i drop off my kids i forgot all about going to mips at five o'clock in the freaking morning so 
I was late because I had to stop and get gas. And I was super late because I didn't even fill up my tank. I put like $5 in when it takes $20 to fill my tank. So yeah, it has just been a crazy morning so far. Oh, I wanted to ask y'all a question. I was thinking about doing a, a little videos called dinner with the browns and i was thinking about like recording some of my dinner meals that i make um yeah i was thinking about recording what we have for dinner and how i make it and all of that stuff so what do y'all think y'all think y'all would be interested in that because i love to cook oh no <gasps> Oh my gosh, my ring fell down the hole in my car. The um, You know the emergency brake, the one that you pull up? My ring fell off in there. Oh my gosh, my husband is going to be so pissed. Oh my God. Yep, my day just got worse. So I'm gonna have to call my husband and see. Oh, my ring. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I need some air because things just got real. Oh, bro. My band, not my actual wedding ring, y'all. My band is in the pocket of an emergency brake. God dang it. I'm going to feel naked all day. <coughs> with today i just need to go home go to bed and start all up with tomorrow because this right here and it's raining lord jesus i'm gonna need to call out of work today and i need windshield wipers because this is like super blurry oh what was i saying before my ring fell down the pocket of an emergency break figure out a way to break it to him i guess y'all because he gonna be like bro are you serious so hopefully he gets this one out or hopefully he um buy me a new one so um good thing about it is that oh it's on my insurance. We claimed it on our insurance. You think I can get a new one? Um, yeah. Let me know below if y'all would like to see any cooking with the brown videos. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Somebody please let me know if it's even possible to get my ring out of this little thing over here. So, yeah, you guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for experiencing what is not even a thank you. It's just thank you, okay? Thank you. Hey, y'all. So, I just talked to my husband. And he was like, uh, well, okay. First of all, let me start off by saying, 
I'm that type of person that over exaggerates everything. Excuse me, Mr. Trump, can I get over? I'm the type that exaggerates everything. So when I do tell him what I need to tell him, it don't seem as bad as it was when I over exaggerated it. See my logic behind that? Yeah, no. <clears throat> so yeah, he was like, he was asleep. So I was like, cause it's like seven, seven thirty something, seven thirty. And so he was asleep. He was just about to get up, cause he gets up at like eight for work. So I was like, uh, boo. And he was like, what's up? I was like, are you asleep? And he was like, I'm about to get up. And I was like, so about my ring. Ooh, 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 look at that cop. Oh, he, ooh, he better not try to get me because I'm not speeding. Oh, and it's an undercover cop and he just swerved around that corner. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> okay, um, what was I saying? Yeah, he was like, uh, I said, so, about my ring, and he was like, oh my gosh, and he thought I, um, dropped my wedding ring, because unfortunately, um, why I say unfortunately? I dropped, he thought I dropped my wedding ring. And so he was like, it was just your band. And I was like, yeah, it was, it's just my band. He was like, Denasha. He was like, that could easily be replaced. And I'm like, I want my ring now. So yeah, he told me that he could buy me a new one this weekend or He's gonna check with the insurance and see if the insurance will uh, pay to get a new ring. Okay, rudeness. He's gonna see if the insurance is gonna cover for me to get a new ring. If not, then um, he's just gonna buy me a new one this weekend or next weekend. Hold on, you guys. Can I have two hash browns? How many hash browns? Two. Okay. And what's your order? Yes, that's all. Two or three, first one down. Thank you. Did I tell y'all like hash brown? Team hash brown, okay? But, um, yeah, so my ring is going to be replaced, you guys. No worries. No worries. Okay? Okay. No worries. Okay, so I said it'll be stuff. See y'all tonight, maybe.